Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Now today we are reacting to another clip from Would I Lie To You and this is Sarah Pascal, Pascal's Chest of Drawers. Now this was recommended to me by At How I Wait, thank you very much for the recommendation. And yeah, the last time we saw Sarah was when she had the one where she mistakenly thought Costa Rica was in Spain and that was true. So that's just something to bear in mind when we go into this next one. But yeah, Sarah Pascal's chest of drawers. Looking forward to getting into this one. Let's get into the reaction. And here it we go, possession. guys. Now, first of all, read out the card. And then when you've done that, take the object and pop it on the desk. I once bought a chest of drawers for my bedroom online. I realised I'd made a terrible mistake when this arrived. <laughs> 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 Classic. Um, All the evidence is, is there, Barry. Like... <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 She's massive. <laughs> Sarah, on the on those things when you buy online, they do have measurements. Did you not think to look at? Them? I knew that with things like clothes and shoes. Right. I didn't know some charlatans. <laughs> we're making furniture this small. You, so you think they were charlatans? They weren't just sincerely making doll's house furniture. They were trying to pass <laughs> off doll's house furniture as full-size furniture online. Yeah, <laughs> that 10 That's centimetres didn't, didn't fool you for the width. inexpensive postage and packing. No. <laughs> if out, put through letterbox. <laughs> <laughs> This is what he did the last time. Close. It's massive! <laughs> How much was it, Sarah? Yeah. £35. Wow. So did no, you, you just think you were get getting things, like a full-on bargain? Very yeah. Cheap. yeah, but that's, I mean, that's, that's, that's right. gone from a relative bargain to a lot to pay for that. <laughs> yes. I was disappointed. <laughs> I'm sure you were. Do actually open and shut? Is it functional? The thing is, Bob, in a way, it's just like a normal set of chest really of drawers. Is, isn't it? Oh. Like you can put stuff in there, it's just not big enough for my trousers and my... No, no. So do you normally buy... You'll probably fit a Tic Tac. I've, I've got this habit at the moment, Mary. I like to buy things when I'm drunk and then it's a surprise. <laughs> Why did you not send it back? Yes, did you, can't you, because you can on these things, you can contact the seller, can't you? And yeah. you can mm. you know, rate them or complain. Can I be truly honest with you? Please, what are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> Again, I love this mm. and I was too embarrassed to say that I hadn't checked the measurements. Where right. do you keep it now? I keep it in my kitchen. Why? Well, <laughs> I, I... You could put spices like in put it. money in there. How much? How much pound, money can pound, you get in there? Pound in there. Yeah. <laughs> Two pound in yeah. there. Yeah. A rolled up fiver. Yeah. Yeah. And then <laughs> a 20. Yeah. If yeah. I've had to get a cab a long way. Oh. It's, good, it's good for spares, it's good for... If you're tipping, someone has delivered you something. A like pound, yeah. two or five. Yeah. Depending. What if, it's, what if you want to do three? That would kill me, that. Just, oh. <laughs> you could do the two and the one. <laughs> Should have said four, mate. Should have said four. Mary, what are you thinking? Um, All right. So, guys, this story, it's not the same episode. But this story plays very well hand in hand with the Costa Rica one, where instead of reading the flight details and being shocked by the price, you didn't read the, me the measurements and you weren't shocked by the price. I feel like, Sarah, this is pretty, yeah, it's very similar to the other one in the sense of, yeah, the measurements, the price, the, the details which really matter. But like she said in the last one, she does do a lot of stuff on impulse. And if she's drunk and she buys a chest of drawers, would she really be looking at the price of it? I don't know, guys. That every inc every like inclination to me is that this is true because I've seen the last one, and I don't know whether because I think it's true to say it's false, but this is very similar to the last one, which was true. So I'm going to say it's true. I think they're similar stories, so let's see what it is. It's a sweet story, Sarah, but I cannot believe you buy when you're drunk. So I, you? I think it's a lie, Sarah. Trialing. I disagree a little bit with Mary because I am 
a drunk buyer, I do like it later. Yeah, but I believe going, that. Oh, I love something yeah. like that. But not a chest of drawers. Mm. So what are you going to say, David, as I captain think of your you team? You think it's a lie? I think it's a lie. And, well, we're going to say lie. It's going to be lying. OK. OK, Sarah, yep. truth or lie? OK, I'm very relieved to tell you that it is true. Oh. Oh, hey, there we go. Like I said, very similar to the other one. Very similar. <laughs> Tiny chest of drawers by mistake. <laughs> um, Paul, you're next. Right. <laughs> 35 <laughs> quid. Sorry, just 35 quid per one of them. Yeah. I'd rather, when drunk, give up 35 quid for that than panic and give my wallet over to a drunk Is it just... <laughs> I don't know what's that referring to, but we shall see. A drunken fox. But no, guys, this is the end of the episode. And yeah, like I said, very similar to the other one, it's Sarah is a bit of an idiot. I mean this in the nicest way possible, but she is a bit of an idiot. Like, I understand that when you're drunk you can go and buy stuff, but say you're online and you're like, oh I want to buy myself a laptop, and you see there's this laptop for a hundred quid. You must be thinking to yourself, what am I actually getting for this price? And then when it turns up, it's either like a doll's house laptop or it's a laptop which has no screen and no keyboard, something like that. But there just there has to be some sort of logic in your mind when you're just thinking like, is this realistic? But I guess if they're both true, I guess she just doesn't have that. But <laughs> yeah, obviously, no offense to Sarah. Great story. Thank you very much for the recommendation once again. And yeah, guys, that's it for me. If you guys have any more recommendations. Let me know in the comments and I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next video. Peace.